Jungs in Miami Beach. Sieht aus wie Zombies, so wie immer. Machen. Wir haben uns die äh, Go City Card für Miami gekauft. Äh, drei Tage All Inclusive, die können wir auch äh, teilweise noch in Orlando nutzen. Haben die nochmal mit äh, Rabatt gekauft und nutzen jetzt hier so ein paar Touristenattraktionen. Da ich auch mit Erstbesuchern unterwegs bin, die noch nie hier waren, machen wir jetzt das volle Sightseeing-Programm. Und da kommt gerade der Bus.
behind our island. They're all man-made, just like the girls on South Beach. The owner of this house created that little blue pill that puts smile on couples' faces. You guys know the name of it? Hello. You said that with a big smile. <laughs> yes, Dr. Viagra. Dr. Philip Frost. Right in between both of the stairs right here, there's a waterfall. We like to call that Viagra Falls. <laughs> He's the hardest working man in the industry.
those islands, my friends, you are looking to your right and left hand side, artificial islands. The islands were built by Carl Fisher at the beginning of the 1900s with a million dollars. Todas estas islas que estamos viendo a la derecha e izquierda son islas artificiales conectadas con puentes. Las islas fueron construidas por Carl Fisher a principios de los años 1920. Don't forget to fill out your forms to participate in the raffle. If you don't have a form, so ask the agents. Recuerden, amigos, en llenar sus formularios para que participen en la rifa. Si no tienen formularios, por favor, pregúntenle a los agentes que les pueden suministrar. Los palm trees, the house of Paulina Rubio, famous Mexican singer. Open your chill, let us start. Houses are not that expensive. You can get a house in there for 10 million, 6 million. Big, big globe on the roof. It's a white house. You see it? This is the Miami Vice house. It was used to film episode 7, Miami Vice, back in 1983. Formula One car racer. He bought a house in Miami for $10 million. He put a big sign on his house to let people know that Shakira never lived in his house. Over here to your right, you can see a white house, looks like a Moroccan house, like a house from Greece, from Mykonos. There is a small boat, it's white, it's a beautiful house. There's a big sign right there, I don't, I don't know if you get to see it from here. It belongs to Eddie Irvine from Northern Ireland, 10 million dollars. Next house, you're going to see a very nice lighting uh, by the sea wall. There is a boat right there. You see that white boat? That house belongs to Stuart Miller, president of Lennar or Lennar Corporation. Próxima casa de Richa, donde está la luz que ilumina el agua, un pequeño yate blanco. Le pertenece a Stuart Miller, presidente de la compañía Construcciones. I'm going to show you right now the biggest house on the island. Vamos a ver la casa más grande de la isla. The house belongs to Dr. Philip Frost. Dr. Frost is a dermatologist, retired, ex-president of IVAX in Key Pharmaceutical. This is the backyard of his house from the first tall palm tree. You see it? All the way around, he has 34 palm trees. This is his botanical garden. The building behind those palm trees back there, that's his greenhouse. He has a tennis court right there that he never uses. Eight bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and four half bathrooms for only two people. Only two people live on the house you are about to see. Dr. Frost, 85 years old. His wife, Patricia, 80 years old. They don't have any children. They are not adopting. I already tried. The bartender tried. The captain is thinking about it. This is the back side of the house, my friends. Not the main entrance. That's a $110 million house. Tienen a la derecha la casa más grande de la isla, le pertenece al Dr. Frost. El patio de la casa comienza desde la primera palmera a la derecha al fondo. Tiene 34 palmeras. Tiene un jardín botánico en la parte de atrás, un invernadero y una cancha de tenis que nunca utiliza. Ocho baños, ocho cuartos, cuatro medio baños para dos personas que solamente viven en esta casa. El doctor.